guys so I'm finally doing a very highly requested video um, which is a makeup routine you guys always ask me to do a makeup routine and I always I'm getting to it but um, I don't know my skin has just been so crazy for the past few months it's still not where I want it but it's definitely gotten a lot better so I figured you know let me go ahead and try to do this while my skin's not looking too crazy um, but you'll still see I have a lot of discoloration and marks from um, my skin's already been prepped, I've already washed my face, moisturized, um, put all my face products on, I've allowed my skin to kind of absorb all the products. And so the first step that I do um, when I'm putting on my makeup is to do this photo finish primer and this is from Smashbox and I will list all the products down below so you guys, um, in case you want to know like exactly what I use. First thing I do is spray my face. And I really do, I want to put a little bit more. I actually really do love this primer um, I have really sensitive skin it hasn't broken me out it's super easy um, it's kind of like hydrating while also priming your face so that your makeup stays on longer it's really great if you guys haven't tried this definitely I like to use this Laura Mercier um, lip balm just to kind of further prep my lips and just to kind of keep it moisturized Okay, so the next thing I do after I put that primer on, so, and also this is like full face routine for me, like if I know I'm going somewhere where I want to have like, you know, a totally finished full face of makeup, but still somewhat natural, like this is, this is like, this is like the, what can I say, this is like the most that I do, like my routine definitely changes, it's depending on where I'm going what's going on with my skin, um, how much time I have. But if I have time and my skin is doing pretty well, um, this is like the full full face that I'll do. So I put that primer on. The next thing I like to do is put a little bit of primer under my eyes. This is the Hourglass Mineral Veil. I do have the bigger one, but um, I got this as a just little travel size as a rewards one time. And so... Um, I just like to kind of keep it in here sometimes. Not only is it good for traveling, but it also comes with this little applicator, which since I only put this under my eyes, because I think that I found that putting this all over my face actually breaks me out. But I like to put it under my eyes um, just to make sure that my, um, my under eye concealer stays pretty good. So that's what I do and I just kind of rub it into my eyes and also to you guys you'll see me do like a lot of maybe like a lot of steps that might be unnecessary to you but these are just steps that I like to do like this one this is a brush that there's no makeup on here basically I like to use this brush just to kind of press my any of my makeup or the products that I use into my skin just to blend it out just to make sure that everything looks as natural as possible so like I said, this is just what I do. I am by no means a makeup expert. I'm not a makeup artist. I learned to do makeup on myself um, by watching YouTube videos, by just reading different makeup books. And I actually didn't get into makeup until like a few years ago. Um, when I started breaking out, I had to kind of find a way to cover what was going on with my face. Next, this is the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Primer. <laughs> And I generally do have really oily skin, so I like to kind of take this and just kind of put it on the areas that I know um, tend to get a bit oily throughout the day, which my skin is so oily that it doesn't completely stop all the oil, but it definitely makes a difference. So although my entire face gets oily, I just kind of put it on those, you know, that T-zone type areas that tend to shine the most. Which, like I said, for me, <laughs> there's no, like, oily T-zone. My entire face gets oily. But I don't put this all over my face. Just primarily on those areas that get super oily. I'm someone that likes to work from, like, the brows, the eyes, the face, and all that stuff. I go through those steps. I don't like to do my face first because, like I said, I have oily skin. So I just feel like I want my foundation to be as fresh as it possibly can. So I do that last. <laughs> 
So the next thing that I'm going to do is my brows. So this is the Anastasia Browers, and I have the color Brunette. I think now it's just called dark brown, hopefully, because I want to get a new one because I'm kind of running out. I think my eyebrows are pretty, pretty thick already, but they're not totally grown in and shaped the way that I like. So what I like to do is just kind of fill in those sparse areas and just kind of lightly fill in that bottom area like this is my good brow and this is the brow that just never looks the way I want it to. So I basically just like to kind of fill in those sparse areas that I feel just need a little bit of help. So I kind of fill it in a little bit and kind of brush it out because I don't your brows not supposed to be like super perfect. I still want them to look somewhat natural, but still just a little bit neater than they would on their own if I didn't fill fill it in fill it in anywhere. And I'm not going too dark with um, the pencil. I'm just kind of lightly filling it in. Ooh, my eye keeps itching. I'm just kind of lightly filling it in in those areas that I think need to be filled in a little bit. So that's what I'm doing. So I don't know if you guys can tell the difference, but See, it just looks a little bit more neat. I don't think it looks like super fake or drawn on. It just looks a little neater because like I said, my brows are already pretty thick. But you just kind of want to give them a little bit of a little extra something, something just to make it a little neater. I wish I could just put on some brow gel and go and be satisfied with my brows but this one I probably could do that with but this one I can't because it's like underneath here just doesn't seem to want to go. I feel like the brows sometimes are the most time consuming for me that's why I kind of like to just get them out the way. So lately I've been using a new mascara it's the Benefit Roller Lash and I really really love it but what I did recently is to pair it with um, this Dior Show Maximizer and basically it's just a lash plumping serum. So it's just white and basically I just put it on my lashes. And it just, um, I guess it just kind of gives it an extra boost. You don't have to do this. This is a, this is a step that obviously is totally optional but when I did this over the weekend I felt like it just it paired really well with the Benefit mascara so and like I said this is a routine if you like want a full full face this is not every day I actually don't even wear wake wear wake up wear makeup on a daily basis but if I'm going somewhere and I have time and I want just to do like a set of full face, then this is what I'll do. So before I put my mascara on, I like to curl them. I like to curl the lashes with the primer on it. And I feel like it's a little less harmful to your lashes because it doesn't stick on the mess on the eyelash curler like the mascara does. And it just seems to curl really well with the primer on it. Okay, so now I'll do my mascara. So what I really love about this mascara too is that you can really get your lashes coated really well without poking yourself. Which is great because that sucks. When you're putting your mascara on, you're trying to get really, really close to the roots. And then you end up poking yourself. So really, I just kind of keep coating this onto the lashes using the different sides. 
the mascara wand until I feel like I have got them to a point that I really like. I have time to let that kind of absorb into my skin while I finish my eyes. So this is um, MAC Studio Conceal and Correct Duo. And basically it just has an orange side and a yellow side. You can also use um, a prep and pot prep and prime, a prep and prime in orange, which I do sometimes as well. But this is what I'm going to use today. And basically it just unscrews. Ooh, why is it making that noise? Okay. I just take some of the yellow side. So I take a little dot of the yellow side and I put it on my mirror. And then I take some of the orange side put that on my mirror see I really just have two little dots and then I just use my finger to kind of mix it in mix it together and then what I'm gonna do is just kind of put these on the areas like I'm sure you can see I have a lot of discoloration because unfortunately every time I break out I am left with a mark that I have to then try to get rid of so this just kind of helps conceal the marks a little better so I'm just going to pat that in lightly with my fingers, with my finger, one finger. And yes, I'm going to look kind of crazy with these orange marks all over my face, but that just kind of helps the discoloration. So I'm not going to put it like on every little area, but the ones that I feel are like the biggest, most noticeable spots, I'm just going to kind of put that on there. So once again, I'm going to go in with a clean brush, but I like to blend with, and just press all that into my skin just to make sure that, like I said, it's all kind of blended in pretty well. Okay, so while that's kind of sitting on my face for a little bit, I'm going to take this Laura Mercier, 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 however you say it, this Eye Basics, and I really like this. If you guys have seen my videos, I don't really do much to the eyes um, besides focus on like a lot of mascara, and um, I put this on my eyes. This is basically, I guess, an eyeshadow primer or eye base, whatever you want to say, but basically I use that. As like pretty much what I'm gonna do to just like that's that's pretty much the basics of my eyes except for one more step that I'll show you a little later so that just takes away any kind of discoloration or redness that you may have and I just like it cuz it's just um colors this this is tawny and it's just like a simple basic kind of tan color that somewhat matches my skin and I just like to use that just to give me like a nice even tone on my eyelids even though I'm not really gonna do much I can't say how it works under eyeshadow because like I said I don't really wear eyeshadow I have a ton of eyeshadows but I just I don't think I'm really good at doing eyes and I feel like I don't ever like my makeup to look overdone so I feel like me doing my eyes and everything just looks like I just have way too much going on. Same thing with lips. I have a lot of different color lipsticks, but I keep the lips pretty neutral because I just feel like I look better with like a natural kind of makeup. And the brush that I use to blend it in is the Precision, I can't talk today y'all, the Precision Angled P84 brush from Sigma. And yeah, it just, it fits perfectly on your eyelids and just kind of blends it and I kind of blend it blend it up to the brow bone so next I have this Milani brow and eye highlighter and I there's like a I guess kind of like a shimmery side and a matte side I will just use the matte side just to kind of highlight under my brows a little bit and I guess it's kind of like a pinky neutral tone but I just put that under the arch of my brows and then I just kind of blend it in. It's not like a huge noticeable difference. 
but you know some things you just do and you feel like <laughs> it makes a difference but maybe it's really not this is one of those things the foundation that i am using today is the lancome tint idol ultra 24 um and i am in the shade 450 suede nude so like i mentioned i generally have really really oily skin but the past several months like i said my skin has been all over the place and it's been oily and dry and then i've been using a new prescription medication so that's kind of dried out my skin although you know the dryness phase i think is gone hopefully but anyway i've just found that mixing a little bit of um rose oil serum which is for dry skin or not rose oil serum rose hip seed oil i just put like one little drop so i'll show you not a lot i don't even know if you can see that i just put one little drop onto my mirror and then I put some foundation in there as well and mixing those together I feel like not only does it I mean you don't even have to have dry skin you can just use it to kind of give your skin a nice glow or just to kind of um, I don't know just make your foundation work a little better so I'm gonna put about one pump I think I actually put a little bit too much but so you see I have about one pump and I'm just going to mix that in with my finger and then whatever's on my finger I just kind of dot on my face and I kind of switch around with my foundation brushes so right now the foundation brush that I've really been loving is the Real Techniques um, expert face brush face brush and what I've also been doing lately is just spraying a little bit of Fix Plus onto the brush. So all this just kind of further hydrates your skin, uh, makes your makeup look less cakey and heavy, and I just like the finish that I get. So I'll just put a little bit on the brush, and then I just basically start blending it into my skin, and I make sure to get all areas of my face I get my ears especially if you are wearing your hair up or back anywhere that's going to show your ears you just want it to all look really natural so what I do then I move on to this side I thought I had too much but I think actually I might need some more So I don't like my makeup to look too heavy, even though I have, I feel like, a lot of discoloration that I need to cover. I'm not trying to, like, I would love to have perfect skin, but I'm not trying to make my skin look flawless, because that would just, to me, take too much makeup to do that. So, I just want to basically enhance my skin and make it look not as uneven. as it would without makeup. So at this point, if you need a little bit more, like I've used that whole pump, I thought I had too much, but actually that was not too much. So I just kind of keep blending it on there. So, I mean, foundation is not actually supposed to cover everything, that's what concealer's for. It's basically just supposed to give you like a nice even tone and make your skin not be blotchy or anything so once again I go in with this clean brush I'm a little OCD with this brush but I just like to make sure everything is just kind of pushed into my skin and blended well I don't want to see any harsh lines I don't want it to look like cakey and fake or anything so that's why I always go in with this brush just to kind of even it up Next thing that I do is to go in with a concealer just to kind of conceal any little marks that I feel like the foundation didn't cover and right now I'm using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and my color is Karma which is medium dark too. And any areas, I think this is almost out, any areas where, I mean I feel like I need a little bit more coverage, I feel like I have the most breakouts right here so a little there just kind of dot it anywhere that I feel like I said I need a little bit more coverage 
and you can either go in with your foundation brush or use a different brush. I'm just going to go in with the same foundation brush just so that it can further blend everything in well. So with this brush too, I just kind of like, I guess kind of use a stippling motion and just kind of pat it all into my skin. Just so that it gives the best coverage and looks the most natural. So, the concealer that I'm using right now is the Naked Skin um, by Urban Decay, and I have Warm, Medium, Dark. Now, normally I love my matte concealer, but lately I've been really loving this one. It's just very, like, it's very smooth and creamy. So, I like to put this on all the areas that I want to highlight. So, of course, under my eyes, a little bit right there. Definitely down my nose, and then I put a little bit right there. So, like I said, what you get on the brush when you pull it out is more than enough. And also what I've been doing lately as well is I've been taking a little bit of this MAC Prep and Prime, and this one is Bright Forecast. And I will just blend a little bit of this in with the concealer that I've already put on. I just feel like it gives it a little, um, I don't know, like kind of like a little glow. So, all I do is start kind of like patting this onto those highlighted areas. And this is a Zoeva Face Shape Brush 110. And it's just like perfect for concealing to me. Um, you could use this, I guess, for your foundation or concealer. But I like to use this to blend my concealer in. So of course with any brush you can use them however you want. Like I'm constantly switching around what brush I use for um, different areas of my face. And lately this one I feel like has just been really good for concealer. So don't worry if it's looking a little crazy right now. Everything, like I said, is going to be blended in. So the last part I do is my eyes. Um, why? I don't know. I just do. Because I don't want it to start creasing, I guess, while I'm doing the rest of my makeup. And also mi mixing the two, um, mixing the concealer and then the Prep and Prime highlighter together. Just kind of saves time and kind of let you do it before it starts creasing and stuff. So I just really take the time to just kind of get that into all the areas of my face that I want to highlight. Make sure you get the corners of your eyes because that's an area that tends to be a little dark sometimes on some people. And just kind of blend it out. You just want to make sure that everything looks very even and blended out. So once again, I go in with this brush. And I just, you guys, I really, really love this brush because I feel like it's just the perfect shape to just get in all those areas to kind of pet that makeup in. Like it just really, for me, just kind of pushes the makeup in your skin really well, blends everything together. You really want to make sure you this area right here because you don't want to be able to see like where you put your concealer and where your foundation is you want it just to all kind of seamlessly blend in together oh you guys usually I spray that brush too and I forget oh well okay so the next step is I told you guys kind of like a lot of steps but this is just what I do when I'm doing a full face. So the next thing I do is I take my Real Techniques um, setting brush. And this is just some Ben Nye Banana Powder that I just kind of put into a little sifter because using the bottle that it comes in is not very convenient. So this just makes it much more convenient. So I take a little bit, I kind of press it onto the brush, and then I kind of dap the, ex dap, tap the excess off. 
and then I just set those areas that I put the highlight in. I like to also kind of go over my eyes with this, just kind of set that base that I put on there and just to kind of brighten it as well. And I do the same thing on the other eye. Just to kind of set everything in there. So once again, I just go in and highlight those areas that I put the concealer on. And that is that part. Okay, once again, going back in and just pressing that powder in just to make sure that it's not gonna look cakey and that it's blended in. Blend, blend, blend. If you can't tell, that's the key for me is to just blend. Blend and push, blend and push. So after that is done, then I go back in to do my um, bottom lashes. So I think today I'm gonna use this kind of like universal natural shape natural tone so this is nude I'm gonna use this nude liner and I'm just gonna put that in my waterline and this is kind of like I don't know if you guys can see the tone but it's not white it's more of like a peachy cream kind of nude so normally I should have done this before I did my under eye concealer but I forgot so I like to use this little sponges because I don't want to touch my face and I use this to put on. So also it's good to do this before you do oops, your bottom lash mascara because sometimes this color can kind of get on your mascara and then you don't want your mascara at the bottom looking crazy. So putting this on first and then your bottom mascara will kind of cover any um any traces of that. So I like to use Lash Discovery Mini Brush Mascara on my bottom lash, or you can use the Clinique um, Bottom Lash Mascara, which I use sometimes too, but I feel like I kind of like this one better. So I just take that and I just coat. My bottom lashes. I always do bottom lash mascara. I just think it just makes a difference on me, I just think it looks better. It just enhances your eyes a little more. So I always do that. Okay. So, there are the eyes. So the next thing that I do is okay the next thing is powder so right now I've been using this Bobbi Brown this is like the newly formulated powder I had this years ago and I didn't like it I still have it and I don't use it but this is the skin weightless powder foundation and I basically just like to kind of brush this onto my skin just to kind of set the foundation and I'm using a duo fiber face brush by Real Techniques I have a lot of Real Technique brushes I switch my brushes around all the time so these are just the ones that I've been loving right now I try to kind of rotate them to kind of get use out of all of them but so I basically just go in and kind of just slightly dust this on my face I don't want to put too much I really want to avoid looking cakey so just a little bit and then if you want you can also you can do two things you can just set your face with one of these ambient light powders um, and that'll be fine or you can set it with like a powder that's your tone and then just kind of take just a little bit of this and this one is in radiant light and just kind of dust it on your face it's just going to give you like a little bit of glow it may not even be noticeable on camera but it just gives like a little bit of glow to your face so the next thing that i do is um i can't think right now uh, bronzer. So the bronzer that I'm using is by YSL and it's the, oh lord, Terry Saharine bronzing powder. 
yeah it just looks like this and it kind of looks orange when you look at it in the pan but it doesn't come out orange at all because that's something I can't stand for makeup to come out looking orange so I'm gonna use a tapered face Sigma brush F25 put a little bit of that on there oh you guys I forgot a step wait let me back up a little bit before I do that okay so I'm not really into contouring at all usually I'll dust a little bit of bronzer like on the sides of my nose just to kind of give me a little bit of contouring there but lately I've been using the NYX Wonder Stick and I really like it. I know Anastasia came out with a kit for contouring. I have the powder one which I never use um, and I was tempted to get the cream one. But I'm like I never use those. So this works just fine for me. I'm going to put this on the areas that I would normally bronze. And I don't ever contour. I'm not a big contour person so I don't know if I'm... If you're gonna be able to really see this but it's just a little step that I've just added lately that I kind of like so those areas like I said that I would normally put my powder I'm just putting this powder down my nose just to kind of contour my nose a little bit and I actually think this is easier to use into getting like this is cream but like having the cream where you gotta scoop it out and everything you know what I mean like you have to um you know like the Anastasia one having a stick form just makes it very handy and convenient so okay I look kind of crazy now but that's and I, I haven't tried the light side yet um I should probably try it but I just use my concealer to highlight so I haven't tried that side so now I'm going to go in with so I can do two things. This is the brush that I normally use to highlight my, I mean to contour my nose. And this is the Zoeva Luxe Face Paint Brush. And this is what I've been using to kind of blend in that contour. But I want to try this one today. I'm going to use this one on my nose and then I'm going to use the contour brush from Real Techniques to blend all the other areas in. So we'll see if I like that better. Because I just feel like this one might just blend a little better. And it's, this is not anything like you can see like super good because I don't want a heavy contour. I was just trying to make use of this contour stick that I had and I just like, I don't know, I'm trying to use it in different areas because just trying something new. So I just want to make sure to blend that in really well before I put the powder on. And like I said, I don't need it to be like super visible because I don't want like heavy contouring. So next I'm going to go back in with the Zoeva brush. And this one is, I think is totally perfect for contouring your nose because it's just the right shape to kind of get down the sides of your nose. So you really want to blend that in well because you don't want to look like you're trying to contour your nose or any other areas of your face okay so I'm gonna leave it like that for now because I do have to go back in with my powder so back to the bronzing powder which I kind of skipped ahead so I put a little bit on there just a little bit off and then see normally I would just use the powder to contour only my nose which I've been doing which I always do like just lightly do with powder. I don't even know if this is showing up on camera guys, but we'll see. Okay. I feel like that's not blended in well. Like I said, I am not a makeup expert. I just learned to do my own makeup by reading makeup books. Bobby Brown makeup book was actually one of my was my first makeup book, but um and watching YouTube videos, so go back in put some bronzer on my brush and then I just use the you can say the M technique or the E or the three whatever you want to call it but I just bronze those areas that generally would generally the Sun would hit I don't need my face to look like sculpted or chiseled or anything like that 
I just kind of want to warm it up a little bit and take away the flatness. And I'm not putting more powder on here as you can see, I'm just kind of working with what's already there. But um, yeah, I just like to use bronzer just to kind of add some warmth back to my skin um, and for it to not look so flat. So, bronzing is finished. The highlighters that I'm going to use are, okay, so this was, this is a little Becca highlighter. It was like, um, I don't think it was a holiday pack, but I got it around the holidays and it had like three different colors. It had like this one, a white one, and I think like a rose gold one. So this is opal, and then I'm going to pair this with the MAC Global Glow Mineralized Skin Finish. And I think these two pair really, really well together. So I'm just going to take the highlighter and just kind of dab it onto the highest part of my cheek where I want to put the highlighter just to kind of give it a little bit of a glow. And then I'm going to go in with another Real Techniques brush. Uh oh, okay, here it is. And this is one of the new Bold Metallics one. Um, this is the 300. I think this is the, I want to say it's the blush brush. I'm not for sure, but this is 300. And this is just really good to just kind of blend that highlighter onto your cheeks. I think this will be really good for foundation too, but I haven't tried it for foundation because it's pretty similar to the one that I'm using now, which is a little more pointed than the other one. But I just kind of blend that highlighter in. Just not too close to the eye, but just on that cheek area where you want to see a glow. So after I do that, I go back in with a powder highlighter just to kind of set it. And this is a Zoeva 105 Luxe Highlight. And just kind of put a little bit of that on there. And I just go right back in the area that I just put the cream highlighter. And I just put that over it. So I don't know if you guys can see if that's showing up on camera, but I just want like a slight glow when the light hits you or when you turn your cheek to have a little glow. And I also put this down the bridge of my nose just to kind of highlight it. Um, yeah, just a little bit. So like I said, I have really oily skin, so I don't want to look dewy. I just want like a little bit of a glow. So, okay, wait, before I put the highlighter away, what I like to do with my highlighter as well is put some, put a little bit under my brow bone. And then I always put this in the corner of my eyes. If I leave and I forget to put highlighter in the corner of my eyes, it's so weird. I just feel like my makeup is incomplete because I've done that a couple times and I'm just like oh it just like bugs me it's just like oh my gosh I can't believe I forgot to put it there which seems so stupid but I just feel like I don't know I just a part of my makeup makeup routine that no matter what I'm doing or where I'm going like I always do that and I'll just put a little bit on my cupid's bow okay so down to the end we're almost done the next step that i do ooh, is i put on oh you guys i forgot to do something with my bronzer so like i told you i don't really do much to my eyes but what i do like to do is just kind of get the corner so i'll take another real techniques brush and this is the duo fiber eye brush i put a little bit of bronzer on there and i just Put it on the creases. And I, you know, I forgot another step too. I've been putting the um, contour stick right here too and then blending it in. But I forgot to do that, so. But this is really what I do with my eyes. I put that base on, I do my mascara, my base. Those powders and that's it. I just like to keep it super simple. I don't mind the lashes being dramatic, but the eyes are just super simple. Next is blush, and right now I just have this NARS um, Virtual Domination palette. Before I do that, what I've been doing lately as well is just kind of blending, buffing everything into my skin. 
just to kind of make sure that everything is blended well. I think it just kind of prevents everything from looking, once again, super cakey. It just kind of blends everything together. I'm not really like buffing it hard so it's not going to like move or shift my makeup. But it's just going to make sure everything is, you know, blended together. So, the blush brush that I'm using is this Sephora Professional airbrush. I'm mixing Deep Throat and Sex Fantasy. So I'm using these two pinks together. So I'm going to first take the lighter pink and I kind of make a fishy face but not totally. I just basically want to highlight, I mean not highlight, I want to just get it on my cheek area but not the balls of my cheek because you got to be careful when you do that because if you smile just put it on the balls of your cheek then when you're not smiling it's going to kind of drop and it's going to look weird so I kind of do a little bit of a fishy face just to kind of see this area right here that I want to put it and I just like to kind of dab it I go back in with the brush that I used for my um, setting powders and I just want to make sure that the highlighter and the blush and the bronzer are all blended in well So I just kind of do that. And this is good if you, for, like, by mistake, put, like, too much blush on. You can just go back in with a brush like this or any kind of brush and just kind of buff it out. And this is the Clear Brow Gel from Anastasia. And I really like this one. I used to use the Urban Decay one. Not used to. I still kind of use it. But I just recently purchased this one. And I this is Pink Truffle from Revlon. It's a lip butter. And I love, love, love lip butters. I'm more of like a gloss person, so some people might want to leave this on its own because it is a little glossy. But I like to do my lips, have it feel glossy, and then like have it stay. I don't want to have to keep retouching it. So I like thick glosses that are going to really stay put and keep my lips moisturized. So over this, I like to put this Root Bear color by Clinique. It's a super bomb moisturizing gloss and I love these. I don't even know if they still make them which is crazy because what am I going to do when they run out? But I just put this over it. And you can see it's not like a huge difference because it is the color of my lips. The last step that I do is to once again spray my face with this Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. Not only is that going to lock your makeup in place, it's going to hydrate it again. It's going to just kind of melt all the um, product used together so that it looks um, more blended. And I don't think I missed any steps. I think that's it. That is my completed makeup look. Please thumbs up this video if you like it. Make sure you subscribe. And I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Bye.